Now, we're also expected at hire to know about the reverse reaction, which is um, where you start off with your alcohol and you dehydrate it to obtain the corresponding alkene. Now, this is of use especially in things like the manufacture of plastics, as alkenes, especially ethene, would be the starting material for many plastics. Okay, so if you did this experiment in your classroom, you might remember that um, you had a test tube here with mineral wool soaked in ethanol and uh, mineral wool here in your test tube, which is impregnated with a catalyst of aluminium oxide. So both are heated and with any luck you will get some ethene being produced. Now because ethene is a hydrocarbon gas it is not soluble in water so therefore it can be collected um, on top of water in this way. Now this can be quite a tricky one to remember um, so there is a mnemonic that might help you. Now, for mnemonics to work, you really have to visualise them um, and, and that way you'll remember the mnemonic, which in turn will help you to remember um, the chemistry. Now, because of the topic alcohol, it, um, it's quite easy to incorporate alcohol into a mnemonic. Um, and this one is Arlene drank alcohol with her cat and a mini ox. Okay? So, I want you to visualise this, um, this woman, Arlene, and um, she's sitting in her living room with her cat on her left hand side and a mini ox on her right hand side, and she's pouring out three glasses of champagne. Okay, so Arlene drank alcohol. Are you visualising? Okay, so we have Arlene is an alkene. So the alkene um, is formed from the dehydration of an alcohol using a catalyst of aluminium oxide. Okay, do you see that? So aluminium oxide, a mini ox, it's just more of a, um, it sounds quite similar. Cat is catalyst, Arlene is alkene, drank, dehydrate, and alcohol speaks for itself. Okay, so hope you spent that time really visualising it, because that way it might help you to remember it. Okay.